Well, I, I do think that technology is under duress a bit now. The technology companies have become so large in terms of their size and scale and the representation in market cap, if you will, in, in the stock market. Um, brands have become loved. Um, they've become used, obviously, by many folks. You know, we're all inundated today with over 50,000 brand messages every day. Companies have been able to scale today because of off-the-shelf software and AWS. They can buy keywords and search and they can use social advertising to scale. That's terrific. If that trust is misused, if a brand is not really trying to understand what's important to you as a consumer, and so I can monitor your behavior and all that operational data, but if I really ask you questions and listen and take that feedback and act on it, that's the way to build up real trust. So we know that consumers today are increasingly wary of machines and algorithms and chatbots and AI, and if, if it works well, it's really cool, but personalization done poorly really sucks. We haven't really got the comment from you yet about whether Trump is in for an upset. So yes or no? <laughs> I don't have a comment on whether Trump is going to be. I don't think he's actually on the ballot. I know. I know he is campaigning vigorously. The Republicans. The Republicans. Um, are I, in for I an upset. The, it looks like they are going to lose the House. It seems to be the vast majority of polls subscribe to that, and that they're going to keep the Senate. And yours is no different? Ours is no different. We think that Trump will continue to be top of the ballot and dominate the news cycle for many quarters to come. I want to ask you about something different, because also dominating the news cycle is whether we've seen the best of the games in the technology sector. And your company's been an extraordinary one. You've listed, you had an IPO in late September. Since then, the stock has been on a roller coaster ride. You IPO at $12, you surged 42% right up to a high of about $20. At the low, you've been at $10.05. That's a very wide range for investors to weather. What do you make of the volatility we've seen in technology? I think this is something you prepare for in the going public process. It takes a lot of work for your people and your systems, your board of directors, the audit to get ready to be a public company. And you put yourself out there to be accountable to shareholders just like you are to your employees and to your customers. And every day, every 90 days, the lights go on and the mics are hot and you need to show your results. And so we look forward to show, showing our results uh, next week when we release our earnings. We're really proud of the platform we've built and the capabilities that we offer to our customers uh, globally. So the stock market, I think in the long term, it is a weighing machine. In the short term, it's a voting machine. I think we're resilient and going to endure the day-to-day -day volatility, but we know that long-term value creation is built through consistent delivery results. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.